we at least get the first. I'm a little late on it, but we'll at least get the first fish. Long enough to drop in the wrap. Yeah. There you go. See, now you're just showing off. Number two, guys. I think Jeff still got me on total weight, though. Oh, a fat jokes. Really? We're going to go with fat <laughs> jokes right off the bat? Something. Yes. Would jump in there. There you Come go. Oh, I think right now, there, there's times when I'm very excited for our future. Uh, there's a time where younger people are so much more motivated and involved in social issues than they have been in the past. Um, but there's also a time right now that I'm concerned because it seems like nobody wants to talk to each other. There's right. no discussion. We're just, right. both sides are yelling at each other. Spend time with your family, um, cherish those moments, um, and uh, spend time in the Word of God. I'm thinking you fish. There you go. Yay. All right. All about that size. Can't get any bigger, guys. You're consistent. Unfortunately. <laughs> Consistently catching tightest fish. And that's what. No! That's a fish landing by a leash. Oh, you got six two more. Come on, buddy. That's why they call them tightest fish right there because Titus catches fish like that. Well, at least you're catching them, so. Yeah? No. I oh. just saw that log there. Oh. I'm thinking that if I. Oh, that was too high, but it should work. There we go. Drop that right there. But if I were a bass, I'd want to be right along there. Yep. I agree. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's give this a shot. Let's work around this cove and let's shoot to the other side. And let me show you where I've had a little bit of luck. Okay. And let's see how that works Sounds out. Sounds good. All right, oh, guys. There you I, go. I missed this fish catch, guys. Good guy. Come Pound on, and a half. Good. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, my friend. Oh, that's almost two. Come on, my friend. Ah. Ah. Get over here, get over here, get over here. Yeah, Woo. nice. Finally, gang. Sorry, Jeff can vouch for that was legit. That's not like one of these, we just had a fish in the live well and just put him on the hook. <laughs> we were having some serious uh, conversation at the moment, so I wasn't recording, but. You want, I got a scale and a bump board if you want to measure it away. Uh, I'll measure him real I got one in here. I'll measure him real okay. quick. I think he's I don't think he's quite two. I feel like he's hey, not quite two. We can do a guess. Jeff, what's your guess? One and three quarters. One pound, twelve ounces. Oh man, that's really close. I think I think he's very accurate. I would say I'm just gonna go 114, guys. But I think that's really accurate. I don't think it's quite two. <laughs> How about that? One pound, 15 ounces. Nice. One pound, 15 ounces. All right. Well, this is our biggest one of the day. Let's get him back in the water. Especially if you have an actual nuanced opinion, then it's very hard to um, to, to talk to people, right? Because yeah. it's just when they get a, a ten-second sound bite off of the news or off of Twitter, and good cast, and they run with it. You're telling me your bass is not laying right beside that tree. Yeah, got him. Just got one, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. He's got a nice bass. That's a good one. Uh, that's a good chunky guy. That's not bad, but you were right, right next to that tree. Look at the belly on that thing. That's a beautiful fish. Hold, on, chunker. hold on for me one second, Jeff. Oh. 
This is a great place come springtime for crappie. Yeah. Lake Losinko strikes again. Along with it. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Bad Jeff, bad Jeff. <laughs> It was a very soft bite, you yep. know? It took a little while to say, okay, am I hung or is that? That guy looked like he'd be eating a few. Just a note, we're gonna listen to Jeff the rest of the way because I didn't want to come all the way back here, but Jeff did, and we got two nice sized fish out of it, so. <laughs> we listened to me for the first couple hours and we got nothing but dinks. <laughs> And some good life lessons, that's about it. <laughs> well, look at that going through the water. It looks good. I caught some grass. Going through the water though. Yeah. Well, let's just toss it up there. Let's try a slow swim. There you go. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Nice, nice jump. Oh, he's behind him. There's one right behind him. Wow. You want to throw right behind him? Buddy. Come on, buddy. Not that big. He's on, There you go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. I was prophetic. That one's one pound, twelve ounce. <laughs> All right. Thankfully, got that guy out, guys. No harm to the fish. He's looking good. Um, he's got a little cut in his fin. He's saying 112. I feel like that is 100% accurate, but I'm gonna just go 113. Play some prices right action. Oh, I guess I should go 111, but I think it's bigger than that. I'm gonna say 113. Calm down, buddy. Yeah, this is a good spot because there was definitely another one right behind him. Yeah, I'm thinking about looping around and going through a second time. <laughs> 113. Nice. <laughs> 113, guys. How funny is that? Can we call it or can we call it? All right, let's release this guy back in the water. All right, it's a good release. It's gonna jump. And again, this is why we listen to Jeff because I would have bypassed all of this. That's why you always need a good friend, a mentor, and person driving the boat because they will help you see things and do things that you couldn't do otherwise and you will miss great opportunities. That's another life lesson for today. The only truthful thing he said is someone that has a boat. That's his ringtone. Yo. I'm, I'm doing awesome. All right, gang, we're into the last probably hour or less. Um, we're gonna fish down this side and then we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna hope Jeff is gonna get on some fish. We're gonna start talking some trash to him. Maybe that'll motivate him. <laughs> Snap. But we're on a good point. It looks like it should be good. Hopefully we will put a couple of fish in the boat.
can do it on a spoon bait. Yes. It finally committed right by the boat. Just got one. Good ice. Non scorable. No. <laughs> but there we go. There you go. That's a fish. There you go. Yay, we got another tightest fit. Oh, you're kidding me. Now it's a pro move. Quick release. Can do it small. So, yep. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Nice, what's a pip? Yeah. Grab that net. Check that out. Where's the net? Yeah, down there by the seat. Over there, over by that throttle. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Hang on one second. Let's get some other more action. Nice. Oh. Nice pickerel. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yes, it was. Drop them right here. Do you want me to grab? Uh, no, I got you it. You got it? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. It'd be better if I didn't grab the net, so let's try this again. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll tell you. So, no, you just stop right there, and I'll just do this. There you go. There it goes. Cool. All right. Nice release. Thank you. So that was the last fish catch of the day. Jeff and I had a great time. I just want to say a huge thank you to Jeff Watts for being such a great friend uh, and a mentor. I really appreciate you. He and I have kept in contact for quite a long time. We wanted to get out for, for a while actually. And it just so happened that it culminated on that day. Fun day. Hopefully you were able to take some fishing lessons and some life lessons. Uh, out of this video because that's what we always try to do. I left a link to Jeff's channel in the description below. If you're not already connected to him, I would really encourage you to do that. That's all the time we have for today. I hope you have a good day and I hope you have a good night. We'll see you next time.